Hi, it's Lindy here from Homely Lass, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous little pom pom baubles. So, they're great for hanging on your Christmas tree or tying on your presents. So, to make the bauble, what I'm going to use is our pom pom bauble kit, and this kit will make six pom pom baubles. Oh, here it is. Here's one hanging on the tree. <laughs> So in the kit, there's um, four of these, which make this makes a six. There's a quality pom-pom maker, which I'll explain how to use. <laughs> there's six of the ties, um, and there's in written instructions and a link to the video tutorials and online class so you can um, make these online as well. So let's dive in. So, you, oh, you will need some scissors as well. So to start with, put your tie to the side because we don't need that right now and get your one of your little bundles of wool and pull it open. And then with this is our Homely Bliss yarn, um, which is 100% Australian grown and processed with no offshore processing um, and it's beautiful, so, so nice as, as Merino wool is. You'll notice that it kind of looks a bit ropish. It's so, so soft. Um, and that ropish texture actually means that you can use it um, and it doesn't leave fluff everywhere. And you can, and so if you pull the ropish bit apart, you'll notice it's three pieces twisted together. And these pieces, these individual pieces here is what, is what we're going to use to make the pom-pom. And so just pull, separate those and pull those apart bit like pulling apart embroidery thread floss whatever it's called <laughs> and I don't know if there's an easier way to do this if you found an easier way that's fantastic so just pull those apart I should have pre-prepared one shouldn't I anyhow you're getting the full experience of how to do this no <laughs> sound effects help I think don't you think <laughs> there's one oh, this bit's easier pull it apart like that okay so we need two of those you can put your third one apart away for later okay so one of these wraps around one side of the pom-pom maker and this one wraps around the other okay so how does this funny looking pom-pom maker work once you get to know how it works, you're going to love it so much easier than using the cardboard um, donuts that I used to use when I was a kid. So if you pull it apart, you'll notice it's two parts and each side has two arms like that. So push those in, stick them in together. So this metal bit goes into that hole there. Okay, so first pull the two arms out of one side and what we're going to do is wrap the yarn around both arms until this little hole is full and then when we put it down we'll notice that the yarn is full in there as well. You don't want to wrap too much yarn around um, <laughs> because um, otherwise it doesn't close. But just one thing before we do start wrapping is you'll notice, so this is one of the bits that we've separated. If you just pull the little end apart, you'll notice it's got another three pieces um, in it that are wrapped. And then each one of those is three little bits as well. So all the wrapping and twisting makes it a nice strong yarn. And that's actually what holds all the little woolly fibers in so it doesn't leave fluff everywhere when you use it. But in terms of pom-pom making, all these little bits, when we fluff up the pom-pom and trim it, they open up and they make the pom-pom lovely and full. And you can kind of see them. That's all these little bits here. Okay, but you'll see more about that later. But that's kind of how it works. So open up two arms, hold the yarn. So just hold one end and then just wrap around here. And wrap nice and tightly, hold on to that end so you don't lose it, wrap nice and tightly because the tighter you wrap, the more yarn you can fit um, and that also makes for a full pom-pom. So see how I'm lining them up nice and closely on the inside there? That's what we want. So just keep wrapping and we're just going to keep doing this 
until our little pom-pom is full. Wrap, 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 wrap. Holding it nice and tight. And going across and across and across. Let's see. Okay, so it's looking fairly full in here. So I'm just going to check if it's full enough. And see, it's not quite out. So I'm actually going to do another layer. So not quite full out to these white bits here. Bit of a gap. So keep wrapping. How's that look? I reckon we can get one more wrap. <laughs> Let's see. It's not going to have many pieces. There we go. Okay. How's that? So that's not, that's sitting just nicely out there and it's still clipping down um, just. So I'm thinking that's good. You can trim this end off, trim it just out from the pom pom, from the top of the pom pom. Okay, now something else before we do the other side. See how this, so there's two arms here, one and two, and see how on the outside they've got a V. When we cut around the pom pom in a little bit, that's where the scissors run. So just so you know that too before we wrap. Okay, so get your other piece of yarn out. And then let's keep wrapping. So same as what we did on the other side. So open the two arms out together um, and then wrap. Hold that there and then wrap, wrap, wrap. Nice and firm and keeping the bits on the inside stacked side by side. Keep wrapping and wrapping. Okay, and when you're full in the middle here, put it down. And look, we've still got some gaps here, so I'm going to do one more layer. How's that looking? That's much better. Is it even? Yeah, I might even. Can I get another layer in? Let's see. Look at that, that's even better. That's nice and close. You will find some vegetable matter um, in Homely Bliss. And I think that's just, that's what the sheep was eating when it grew the wool. Um, and I think that's a really beautiful connection um, back to where the wool came from and kind of something to be grateful for, the land and the, and the animal um, that so kindly grew this fiber for us to use and appreciate. Okay, so put your arms all in together snip that end off. I did that while I was talking. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we're going to cut around the pom-pom, all the way around, running our scissors through the V. And the scissors I'm using are our Homely Last Chunky Yarn scissors. And uh, these are my favourite ones for trimming pom-poms um, and cutting chunky yarn. <laughs> they just work really, really well. So I like to trim from the hinge side. So put the scissors into that V, so in under all the yarn, and very carefully and gently, little snips, work your way around. There we go. So I've cut all the way around there. Now don't open this up just yet, because all these little bits that you cut aren't tied together yet. So if you open it up, they're just going to fall to bits. And then do the same thing on the other side. So trim around. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. So now grab one of your ties and slip it down in through that V and then go through the V past the V. So it goes right into the center of the yarn. So the ties need to be really nice and secure and hold all the little bits of wool together. So that's what holds the pom-pom together and makes it not come apart. Okay, get these ends so they're looking pretty even. Okay, and then we're gonna do a knot on one side. So just do a knot and then pull that tight. Nice and secure, and then turn that over 
it can help to just give these encourage those to go together as well we're going to turn that over thread that through again and do a double knot on this side so super nice and secure and then go the other way okay now that your pom-pom is all tied up it's time to pull it apart <laughs> so to do that, go on one side and then carefully lift the arm up. So you'll have to pull the yarn, the pom-pom bits back just to get it out. There we go. So that's what it looks like. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So pull the other two arms out nice and carefully. If at any stage your pom-pom comes apart or you want to put a different tie on it, you can just open, push it open push the fluffy bits open and just retie it around the same yarn that's there. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So we've got one thing left to do to, <laughs> to get it off the pom-pom off the maker and then we pull these two bits apart. So the gray light color bits on the side. So hold on to them and then we pull outwards. And again, so you can see like that's where that metal bit is right in there and that's what we've basically tied the tie around so pull that out so it still doesn't really <laughs> look like a pom-pom kind of but a bit scruffy a bit uneven and a bit scruffy so we'll just put our pom-pom maker away so we've got ready got got it ready to use later so the metal bit goes into that hole like that and then just push the arms together and put that to the side Okay, so now what we've got to do is we've got to fluff out our pom-pom and trim it. And this is one of those things that I tend to do over a couple of sittings, if not more, to get it nice and full. And maybe you want your pom-pom to be absolutely perfect, or maybe you want it to be a bit rustic. And that's the beauty of a handmade, is you can do it, how it, you can make it look however you want it to look. Okay, so first we're just going to kind of work it into shape encourage the little bits where the join is to kind of come and sit beside each other and just kind of give it a bit of a massage to kind of start working it into shape now i recommend doing the trimming over a bowl <laughs> because it just catches all the little fluffy bits in one spot it means it doesn't go all over your home <laughs> and what we're going to do first is just trim the longer bits so we trim them first down to to where um, against the pom-pom and then just keep gradually getting closer and closer so the a thing with trimming is one make sure you don't trim your tie because you need that <laughs> and it's do lots of little cuts um, and lots of gradual little cuts to get them to size so I'm gonna start with this big bit here and just cut each bit individually just so it's a similar length to what's around it <coughs> work my way around and I'll give it a massage just to get everything sitting out right and then find a new bit so these bits are a bit longer so I'll cut them off a bit more of a massage okay these bits are a bit longer too so I'll cut them off and I love how mindful um, this process is you really got to concentrate in and just focus on exactly what's in front of you. Lots of fluffing. And just trimming off those really obvious bits. Nice and gradually. Okay, so I've got some funny looking stuff going on here. So using the same process, just trimming it down so it's a similar length to what's around it. Okay, and once you've got all your longer, really obvious bits done, give it a bit more of a massage. And we're going to... And I've actually just found some more sticky out bits. <laughs> I'm going to give them a little bit of a haircut. Like that. 
and now we're going to get a lot kind of finer with our trimming so just lots of rotate around and just lots of little cuts just working it until it becomes circular and at the same time to kind of open all these bits up so it becomes nice and even like this get the end of your scissors and use that to fluff up the yarn and separate it so fluff and trim I like to call this stage so it starts to open it all out and make it nice and full and then really carefully just start rotating and trimming And I find this is a process that I'll do a bit and I'll put it down and come back to it and do it again um, until I'm happy with it. And if you ever find that you're kind of at the stage of this is, this, I don't think this will ever look like a pom-pom, um, don't give up. That's actually a good thing because generally when you reach that point, it's not long um, after that and you're like, oh, it does look like a pom-pom. It's just lots of little cuts, um, lots of tiny, tiny cuts. And just trust that you're going to get there. It's going to look amazing. Um, just enjoy the process, the feel of the yarn, um, and seeing it look better and better. And just remember to not cut the tie. <laughs> like that. Lots of tiny, tiny cuts going around and around and around. And what I tend to do is just sit here, hold the pom pom, and just rotate and cut, and then change direction, go a different way, and then go, okay, this bit needs fluffing out. So I'm going to focus on fluffing it out, and then give it a trim and keep turning. And don't forget to do the bit up near the tie too. And then just keep doing that. Keep repeating and doing that until you're happy with your pom-pom. And it'll end up looking something like that. And then when you're finished with your trimming, just hold your tie out like that. And it's just... We're just going to tie a knot, tie a knot in the end to whatever length that you like. Oh, so just tie a knot around. Oh, I'm going to do that again. So just tie a knot around the end like that. Hold it out straight so the two ends are the same. Pull that tight and then just trim it off just near the tie. And there you go. Happy trimming, happy pom-pom making, <laughs> and don't forget to share your pom-pom bauble photos with me on Instagram by tagging at homelylax.